Welcome to the channel. We're finally doing this walkthrough of the truck. We are going to talk about the 2020 Ram Rebel Eco Diesel that is sitting behind me here. So this is going to be a three part series. It will be dropped uh, sequentially. So be sure to subscribe and look for each video. This first video that you're watching right now is going to be the exterior and some specs. And the next video will be the interior, and then we'll go over the 67 designs, uh, arms and mounts, and the goose gear seat delete. And then the third video will be a camper build out video where all the work and time spent uh, building out this truck, all the juicy details will be in that video. There will be more information in the description, some links uh, for you guys to check out. So be sure to check down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So this truck is a 2020 Ram Rebel 1500 Eco Diesel. Has a 3.0 uh, turbo diesel inside the engine bay. Does great. Um, we have the Alpine sound system in there and uh, the 11 inch screen, which kind of goes along with the sound system. But basically that's it. No, no fancy depth of cruise control, no sensors, got a backup camera, but most importantly it has a uh, tow package. So we, uh, we, ha we have all the plugs and it's ready to take on a trailer. Okay, so the front of the truck this is the fun part. It's all the rigid lighting, the radio antenna, everything so we'll start with the very very front we got two spot six inch bridged lights the 360s we've got four uh four inch light uh with the sae system so you can actually run those on the street legally and then we have the rigid ditch lights and then the rigid uh adapt 50 inch light bar with a GPS module, so that actually controls the beam of the light when you're going at speed of like, you know, uh, wider at slower speeds, narrower at higher speeds. So that's actually pretty fun to mess with. And then in the corner next to the ditch light, we have the Midland uh, antenna, just short little stubby guy. And, uh, and then if we move back onto the roof, we actually have a front runner rack with a custom little camper rack that's actually was just cut to fit in front of the super pacific and then on top of that we have two alley boxes uh hard mounted so those don't come off ever but we have um, recovery gear in one and actually just some uh firewood just just in case firewood uh in the other and then if we move to the top of the camper we have a Sunflare Explore 210 watt solar panel. Thing is super thin. It's like crazy, crazy thin. And then we have the Max Tracks mounted to two front runner crossbars. So I picked the Eco Diesel because it's a Gen 3 version of this of this engine. Gen 2 did not do too well, but uh, I have a cousin that works for Ram, so. He assured me that this is a great uh, upgrade from my previous truck. And so we wanted the space. So it has a six and a half foot bed. It's got the quad cab. So it has a shorter cab space in the rear. Great for the dog. And then um, combo that with the goose gear. It's like perfect, so. And then the other reasons were the interior is just awesome. Like super comfortable, easy to drive and uh, tons of power from that eco diesel. Okay, obviously above me is a awning. It's an easy on Manta 270 plus 
Uh, it has a more boxier awning on the side, which gives you a lot more coverage. And then we have, um, we actually have hardcore lighting strips on the inside of the bars, so you can change those amber to white. And we have the rigid side lights with the ha orange halos and uh, white light, and these are adjustable, just tight enough to move them around when, if needed. And then in the center over here, we got some white knuckle rock sliders. These things are not side steps. They are actual sliders that I actually used this trip, which was fun. The, the way that they're mounted, they actually are bolt on versus weld on, which is I, I prefer because you never know when you might have to take them off or if you ever had to resell, bolt on is the way to go. And then part of the truck, it's a tow package. So we got these like wild mirrors that slide out. Um, if we ever uh, start towing a trailer, which might be possible in the near future. In addition to the stock form, we added the Banks Derringer tune, which helped out a lot with the turbo lag and things that come along with eco diesels. The, uh, the, the tune is comboed with a Banks pedal monster. So they work together and really do a great job of making the drivability of the truck just so much better. So on this side, we just have a uh, custom, I guess, shovel mount. It's actually a front runner mount, but we customize it to work with these T-Track system on the side of the Super Pacific. And it works really well. And it holds this uh, wild uh, shovel up there pretty well. No noise or anything like that. Have a tiny little level on the side of the camper here so you can look out and see if the truck's level. All right, welcome back to the truck. The back of the truck. The obvious orange thing that's right here is the rack and ride. Uh, this is from Australia. This is actually the, the moto carrier of choice right now. I love this thing. We will do, be doing a review on this for sure. Um, not to dive too far into that. but. On the back, we have uh, a chase light up in the top corner there. It's just a rigid uh, SRM uh, with a yellow amber. We also have rigid flush mount ignite reverse lights. Uh, just just some better reverse lighting. These actually, uh, this truck came with RAM LED package. So the lights uh, are all really bright, even the reverse lights. One of the first things I changed on the truck was the wheels, tires, and suspension. And it's going to change again, but for now, we're actually running Bilstein 6112 uh, shocks. So that's a level kit. It's actually really nice. Um, and then attached to that is a Total Chaos fabrication upper control arm. And that's a uniball type control arm. And then we have the these 35 by 12 and a half Cooper ST Max. These things are my favorite. I actually have another pair on order now, so these will get refreshed. And then they are on top of a Raceline Scout. Those are 18 by, I think, eight. And then it's a negative 12 offset. So it gives it a little bit of a flushness to the outer fender here. This is just temporary, but the suspension is um, going to be switched to a Fox coilover um, and rear shock. It's actually uh, the DSC version with the adjusters, and it's about, I think, a three inch lift. So get a little bit more lift and, um, and clearance in the front, which uh, seems to be a problem with the 35s. A little bit of uh, adjusting on the mud flaps in the front, but not too bad but a little bit more clearance doesn't hurt. That's the Ram 1500 Rebel. It's, uh, I, I, I love this truck. It's exactly how I wanted it to be, and uh, maybe a little bit more. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment box below. Like, comment, notification bell, all those YouTube things. We'll see you on the next one. See you guys.